Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Today, in this video, I'm going to show how to MacBook Pro 2017 model. How to install Windows 11 on Apple Macs without Boot Camp. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. For this tutorial, I'll be using Apple's MacBook Pro late 2017 model. And at the moment, let me tell you that neither this MacBook Pro nor any other Apple computer supports Windows 11 installation. Also, for your information, Apple Macs with Apple Silicon doesn't support Windows. This is the easiest possible way to install Windows 11 on Apple Intel Macs with no ISO modification, no ISO conversion, and also no more errors as it shows after using Boot Camp. So for installing Windows 11 on Mac, you'll need Windows 11 ISO Bombardier for downloading Boot Camp drivers, one USB with the minimum of 8 GB, and a working internet connection for downloading the required files and drivers. All the download links will be under the video description. To download Windows, open the link. While it's being downloaded, open the Bombardier link and then open the latest release and from here. Download the DMG file after the files are downloaded. Close your browser. Now you'll need to look for your Max model identifier for downloading the correct sets of drivers to check your model identifier. Open system information from the Spotlight search. In my case, it's a MacBook Pro 14 II. After getting the model identifier closed, system information now opens Bombardier. And after it opens, you'll be greeted with an updating dialog. Click on Close. Now, in the Bombardier window, click on the Filter checkbox and then, from the drop-down, select your Mac lineup. Now from here, select your Mac model, according to your Mac's model identifier. Now click on the Download button to download the drivers. After the driver is downloaded and extracted, you'll have the DMG file with the drivers inside. Now close all. Plug USB after the USB appears. Erase the USB with the following parameters. Launch Disk Utility. Select the USB drive from the list on the left. Select Erase at the top. Type in a name for the drive. Select the file system you would like to use, shown here as Format. You should be able to select XFAT. The Scheme drop-down menu, select Master Boot Record, will become available for you to select. Select Erase. Once format is finished, close the disk utility, now mount Windows 11, ISO, and copy whole files and folders and paste it to your USB. Wait until the copy gets finished after copying is done. Close the mounted ISO folder and now you'll need to keep the download of the bootcamp driver on the USB. Now from the bootcamp DMG. Copy all the files and folders and create a folder inside the USB and name it to driver or whatever you want and paste the copy stuff to the created folder onto your USB. And now everything is done. Close all and eject all mounted images and USB as well. Go to MacBook Pro 2017 model, now open the disk utility and here select the main drive instead of any partition and then click on partition. Now click on plus to make a new partition of your drive, allocate a partition according to your need and to make a difference. Make the sizes unequal. After that, Click on Apply then Partition and wait for some time until partitioning is done. After the partitioning is done. And now restart your Mac and while restarting press and hold the Option key on your keyboard. From here, select the Easy Boot and press the N key to boot. You can see booting from an external media gives the security error on thumb Macs to fix this. Click on Restart Hand. While restarting, press and hold Option or key on your keyboard. Now after getting the screen press and hold the Command plus R key on your keyboard, then wait until your Mac starts up for Mac OS recovery. 
When you see the Mac OS Utilities window, click on Utilities from the menu bar and then select Startup Security Utility from the menu bar. When you're asked to authenticate, click Enter Mac OS Password, then choose an administrator account and enter his password. Now here from the Startup Security Utility in the Secure Boot section, select the last option. No security, and from the Allowed Boot Media section, select the last option to allow booting from external removable media. After making the changes here, close the Startup Security Utility and restart your Mac, and now you'll be able to boot your Mac from external media. From here, select the EFI boot and press the Enter key to boot. Now, after reaching the Windows 11 installer screen, proceed with the installer. Already, TPM check bypassed, RAM check and bypass. I've done a Windows reset and copied it to a pen drive. The installer window and then continue. I accept the Microsoft license terms, then next, select the custom install Windows only. Here, select the partition you created and then click on Delete. After that, select the unallocated partition and click on Next. And as you can see, Windows 11 is being installed and, and the Windows 11 setup screen is here. And now you can see finally, Windows 11 is here. Now you'll need to install the drivers. So, open your USB, then open the drivers folder. Then open the bootcamp folder and run the setup file and proceed with the installer. And after the installation is done, click on Finish to finish the bootcamp installation. After installing drivers in the successful restart, make sure to check for the latest updates from Windows Updates. As of now, Windows 11 is successfully installed alongside Mac OS switching between both OS also works perfectly. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead and